something that's definitely wrong with our script at the moment is that it's not validating the input that the user is giving via the standard input file handle. So if we run our script and type in a line of nonsense rather than a valid file name, our script tries to open the file handle and then that function fails and the other functions that follow it also fail because they haven't been able to open the file handle or read in the contents of any file. However, the user is still left in the dark. There's no way of telling whether the line of nonsense that we typed in was a non-existent file or whether the file was empty. So what we need to include within our script is some kind of condition that tests whether the file handle was successfully opened. If the file exists, then we'll probably be able to open the file for reading. What we can do is to use the open function as the condition for an if block. Then we can put the rest of our script into the if block and we can include an else block at the end to give an error message if that fails. The reason that we're able to use the open function as the condition for our if block is that the open function, like a lot of other functions, returns either true or false depending on whether it successfully carried out the task it was asked to do. In this case, opening the working file handle using the file handle scalar variable as the name of the file that it's going to open. So if it's able to open the working file handle, it returns true. If it's not, it returns false. And this block is carried out instead. If we return to our command line and try out the same thing, just typing in some nonsense, we get a much more useful response from the Perl script telling us that we inputted an invalid file. However, if the user makes a mistake and types in the file name incorrectly, we would probably want to offer them another chance. And we're not doing that at the moment. Our if block either reads in the contents of the file, if the file handle was opened successfully, or prints an error message. There's no going back. So we need to rethink the structure here. Let's return our script roughly to the way it was and reconsider this if statement here because that's obviously what's not working. What we need to do is instead of an if statement for the reading in the contents of the file, we need to enclose the user input within some kind of loop that will only be escaped once the user gives a correct name for a file.